One of the biggest names in the turfgrass seed sector today is Crystal Rose Fricker. You won't find her basking in the attention though. Much more likely, you'll find her here in the field or in the greenhouse. Yeah, this is one of the top varieties. Doing what she's done for decades, pushing the boundaries of turf grass breeding. Welcome to Seed World Center Stage, where we spotlight the innovators and change makers driving progress across this global seed sector. She has worked here at Pure Seed Testing, of course, her whole career and has built Pure Seed Testing and Pure Seed into the companies that they are, you know, her family's business. But the reason she's been able to do that is because she is so dedicated to her work and she has such integrity as a person. Ask anyone in the turfgrass community and they'll tell you, Crystal's influence runs deep. The fun thing for Crystal is every day she's building something that is better. She's understanding something differently. She's, she's, the genetics is one thing, but she's looking at solutions and how, how it works for the industry and what's gonna come next. This year, that influence, together with Crystal's 45 plus year dedication to turf grass, is being recognized at the very highest levels. She's receiving not one, but two of Turfgrass Science's most prestigious honors. In July, Crystal was named the 2025 recipient of the Fred V. Grau Turfgrass Science Award from the Crop Science Society of America, one of the field's most prestigious honors given to individuals whose work has transformed turfgrass science. Now, Crystal is also being honored with the Turfgrass Breeders Association's Breeders' Cup Award a distinction that celebrates not just a cultivar, but the breeder behind it. Her work developing seeded seashore paspalum cultivars revolutionized how paspalum is produced and used around the world. Thanks to Crystal's work, paspalum can now be grown from seed, a breakthrough that fundamentally changes the turf grass industry forever. It's for the development of uh, seeded seashore paspalum variety, which she started working on, I wanna say back in 2000, give or take. And when she started working on it, everybody kind of laughed and didn't think it was something that would be doable one or commercially viable two. But after it took 15 to 20 years to really take off commercially, but it's, it's made a huge impact in the turf world, especially on high-end golf courses and places with high salts and places where it's difficult to import vegetative material. These seeded pass palms are really changing the landscape. Crystal has been breeding turf grass and forages for 30 plus years, 35 yeah. years. And her varieties that she has put so much passion to have made such a difference for this world, for the environment, for the end users, for the golf superintendents, because she believes in the power of a good quality variety to help those who need to plant it and grow the grass. I'm definitely proud of my mom, yeah. Yeah, been working out here with her since I was about 13. And before that, when I was really little running around and helping her eight turf plots and seeing how she does and what she does out here is really what made me want to get involved and do what I'm doing now. I'm very pleased. Uh, um, she's certainly very deserving of, of this award. The efforts that she's put in for the last 25, 30 years in developing seeded paspalums and now to see those impacts out in the market and also for her to be recognized for the work that she's done and her and the team she's put together to accomplish that. It's amazing. Congratulations, Crystal, on winning the Breeders' Cup from the Turfgrass Breeders Association. Um, it's well-deserved. You know, your whole career of work, I can't do it. <laughs> I won't be able to do it. <laughs> I'll get too teared up. Crystal, congratulations, well-deserved. You know I'm one of your biggest fans. Crystal, thank you for believing in me. I think it's awesome uh, for you to be honored um, with the award, but I think it's more important that you know how, how much we all respect and adore you. My mom was giving a speech once to a large crowd, and I was in that crowd, and all of a sudden she's saying, like, I'm a, I'm a breeder, but my best breeding work is sitting right there. Me. Her dog. <laughs>